What's up, YouTube? Good morning, everybody. It's Monday. Motivational Monday. Let's get it. But I want to be able to talk about a topic here about moving averages. And I did mention that in my comments uh, after talking about MT4 indicators versus naked forks. So why I, why I like the moving averages is because it, the moving averages are tied to the main window. And this is tradingview.com here. So I want to talk a little bit more into the moving averages that I used in the, in the past and how effective they are when it comes to trends. Um, for scalping, it's a little bit different, but moving averages are really great during long-term trading when you're swinging long-term and when you're identifying the crossover of using two different moving averages. So depend on the day period that you're using, but I'm going to show you guys, uh, their, the 10, the 10 day, uh, SMA, which is the 10 day simple moving average. Let me go through here. I will come back to the MA cross, but I'm going to talk about the 10 day first. And let me, so usually, um, if you look here, right here is what they list. So it's a nine day close, simple moving average, but I'm going to switch over to the 10. There's not much difference from the nine and 10, because it's, it's just one number over. And this is how you do it. 10. Thank you. All right. So I want to hop in here and I want to show you guys very important setups when you're looking at the 10, 10 day moving average. So with this, with this, um, going to be a quick video, but with this, you can see that the candles, right? Starting from here and all the way down, it, they're below the 10 day moving average. That is a pretty good setup to hold and help um, hold the position and just keep on. Uh, you got to make sure that also, if you plan on holding it, make sure you understand when you want to take profit as well. So you can see that the from the price here at 106.9 all the way down to 105.1 so you're talking 110 pips in drop so that's 110 pips right there you can catch probably go all the way down to 105 the way i'm looking at right now so that is another good setup now the 10 day moving average is not perfect on a setup like this if your main focus is to follow the moving averages, you're going to get caught up here and you're going to get caught up right here because there's nothing you can catch on because the candles are just in between in and out above a little bit and down below a little bit of the 10 day moving average. From that standpoint, I would highly recommend looking into scalping on the 15 minute chart or even the five minute chart. So you get some kind of breakage. And what I mean by that is you're looking for some kind of breakout out of that structure. Without that zone structure being broken out, and all you're doing is that you're trying to anticipate where the new trend is going to go, right? The new leg of the trend. It could possibly end up reversing. So that is where um, this, where I see the 10 day moving average for myself, this is my personal opinion, that this one single moving average identifying the trend candles are below and another good setup i'll go back and uh go back up here is another great setup is here when it fell right and you can see these candles are below the 10 day moving average when you can hold a position to make that kind of money capturing the pips right so that is another good strategy to look into when you see the candles below the moving average or also the candles above the moving average so this is a perfect set of buying and hold right buy here and then you sell here perfect perfect setup right right here right What's not a perfect setup for the 10 day moving average is this, this, this is good. This is not good. This is okay. This, right? The candles are below. This is okay. Right? 
and then not so much here you know there's really not a whole lot and then the major drop again so you gotta understand where the where where you're trying to identify the trend structure right there's a breakout structure a trend structure but the most important thing is that you want to capture the trend so you can ride the trend with the 10 day moving average and so i'm going to go in uh into more with the moving average cross here and this is all um this is all default so it's a like i said this is free i'm not paying for this service here i mean it's on you if you really want to pay for a premium membership with them so with the um ma cross okay if you don't know the ma cross is listed up here and i'm gonna click on the settings Whoop, style niggle style um see why can i change it Oh man, before they could tell you what numbers they were. This sucks. All right, I apologize. Um, I'm assuming it's a seven and a 21 from what I've seen last time. So I'm trying to see if, I, if they would let me. Yeah, they won't even let me change it. I apologize guys. But when it's default like this on trading view, it's a seven and a 21. Not much difference. I would highly recommend go 7 and 14. The 21, you're talking, you know, three times um, the moving period of, because uh, 7 times 3 is 21. So you want to go shorter. Unless you want to go 10 and 20. That's fine too. So with this, you're looking, uh, I would go to the daily and show you guys this. It's a little bit easier. So you can see here, and here was a perfect cell, right? Perfect cell all the way down. And then a perfect buy all the way on top. Now it gets tricky because you're waiting for the cross, right? So I'm pinpointing these crosses. These crosses are pointed out with these blue cross hairs here. So the only thing I don't like about the two, um, the crossover is that you're missing out on the action when you could have got at the very bottom or when you're trying to sell it at the very top. That is the only downfall using the crossover on two moving averages. And if you really want to dive down to the faster, you be, I would recommend going five day and a 10 day to where they cross so fast where you can go ahead and get in at the very top and at the very bottom. The 7 and 21 is so far out that it just takes forever. So let's go into the 15 minute. I'll show you guys. So with the 7 and the 21 tied in here, you can see that it is still downtrending, right? UJ is still downtrending. I talk a lot about UCJPY because this is my favorite pair to trade along with gold. And on top of that, when there's – when when UJ – starts a trend, it's gonna go, right? Especially when it breaks out of the structure in the zone. And so when it moves, it moves. And that's the only thing I like about this pair. It's a universal base pair. You can trade this thing, you scalp this thing, you know. So has the lowest spreads compared to Euro to the dollar anyways. But with this, like I said, with the MA cross, the two moving averages are crossing, especially on the 15 minute chart, right? What you wanna look for is that you can see major resistance, uh, a new low, right? Going back down, a second low, third, right? Came back, could not break it again. And that's the fourth time that it's been testing eating lower and lower. Anytime it breaks a new low, you know, hop into the one hour and take a look into it. You can see that the one hour is a lot more, uh, a lot more true more verifying your confirmations. You can see the crossover, right? Resistance is here, just like the 15 minute. But you can see that the candles are barely, right? Barely um, just touching along the red line here, which is the seven day. And then your 21 day is your green line. So that is very crucial to, into 
looking at how you how your technical analysis is tied to your technical indicators. I love the moving averages. Like I said, I don't use them anymore, but I'm just giving you guys some insight of how I looked at it in the past. Now it's totally on you if you want to use this for yourself. If moving averages is, is the way to go. I do plan on making more videos on other technical indicators in the past that I use because I haven't really talked too much in detail on, on all the all the technical indicators that I've used in the past. So it will be more thorough, more detailed, and, it, and obviously the videos are going to be longer. But I want to make sure that you guys are understanding for your own uh, your own trading analysis and and my perspective of how I look at it and how I use these indicators. And then you gotta take it upon within yourself, right? You gotta take it upon yourself to actually learn, apply, reteach it to yourself, look at these strategies all over again, use tradingview.com. You know, like I said, use the free version, and everything I show you guys is on tradingview.com, anyways. So this this is the most simplest form I can put out there for you guys. And like I said, I'm gonna be putting out more content, and it's the biggest thing. Um, I want to be able to change everybody's lives if they want to do this for themselves and they want to be a self-taught trader. But you also, at the same time, you got to apply and commit to yourself that you are willing to make this happen for yourself, for your own success. No one's going to hand you success. No one's going to give you success. And like I said, at the end of the day, I pay my own bills. You pay your own bills. You got to feed for yourself. I got to feed for myself. And, at, and if you're not willing to put in the work, the effort to be successful on your own, no one's going to give it to you, no matter what, no matter where you go. I don't care what opportunity you're doing. And so, like I said, motivation for you guys. Peace out. I'll see you guys in the next video. I will be talking more in mindset. Uh, yeah, I'll talk uh, tomorrow. And then, like I said, I'll move on and talk more into uh, MT4 indicators versus naked forex. So, like I said, that is it. Peace.